Okay, well, we warned you that owning a vintage trailer was never-ending series of projects. Well, we've got a couple more on the books, and uh, we're going to kind of go through that. But first, Emily's going to show you some improvements she's made. So I got a new toy. I got a vinyl cutter. I got the Brother SDX85 and I love it so far. It's magical. My first project with it was replacing the, as we say in Canada, the duckles, or in America, the decals, or we'll just call them graphics. Uh, you can kind of see underneath it, uh, it was faded a bit, but I took a picture I sized it in my computer and then I traced around it with the drawing software and cut it out on black vinyl and stuck it on. I think it looks pretty darn good for my first project. And every girl needs a little bling, so we gave her a little name badge. So now there's no mistaking when you see Bella on the highway. But, of course, it's not all fun games and improvements. We have a couple actual repairs that we need to make as well. Uh, let me show you those. Problem number one started right as we were packing up from our last camping trip when we discovered the water pump quit working. So, I mean, it's not just that it's not moving water. I mean, it is completely dead. If I go in here, and I think you can see, and I flip the switch, and now the water pump works. Okay, well that was not happening the last time I flipped that switch. I don't know what the problem was, but that was an easy fix. Follow me for more great bowler repairs. And problem number two is this. As Adam Savage of Mythbusters fame would say, well, there's your problem. The uh, lock just continues to spin and does not actually lock anymore. So you can see this is kind of the interior locking mechanism and it's just doesn't move anymore. It is, as we say in the business, pooched. So we have a new lock mechanism on order coming from, I completely forget the name of the company. Campingtreasures.com, Mr. Ian Giles. Yes, Campingtreasures.com, Ian Giles. He makes a replacement. That original lock is a Bargman L400 and has been discontinued since, what, 2006? Yeah, 2006 or 2004, like it's been well over a decade since anyone has manufactured that exact replacement. But he makes a kit that uses a modern day uh, global, Bauer. it's a Bauer, okay, global, uh, a modern day Bauer, oh, I did it again, a modern day global, no, it is a Bauer, oh my God, I've had a beer today, can you tell, uh, makes a modern day Bauer lock that or, oh my god he takes a modern day Bauer lock that's standard on almost all travel trailers except sometimes made by global and he uh, has a kit that modifies it to fit in the space of the Bargman L400 so that's a future video but of course we can't just wrap it up and be done that fast. So Emily has another project for us. Just another beautification project. The bumper here is showing a bit of rust and the paint's flaking off a bit. So I'm just gonna take a wire brush to it, smooth it out and then uh, uh, shoot it with some Rust-Oleum spray paint. Nothing too major, but it'll look a lot better when it's done. Actually, not a bad sewer hose, as far as sewer hoses go. What I assume is a used sewer hose, but doesn't look like it's been used any time in the last 20 years. So, uh, yeah, that was in there when we bought it, 
and now it's going to go bye-bye. Emily just discovered on the other side of the bumper that uh, there was a set of awning poles stuck inside. Is that it? Just the two? A lot of dirt. So, I mean, we've only owned uh, our bowler for a little over a month, if that. Uh, so, we're discovering new things all the time. I guess uh, we probably didn't need to go out and purchase new awning poles at Canadian Tire, but uh, it's actually looking at yeah, the, we did. yeah, looking at the condition of those. I think it's a good thing we bought new ones. And as I told you in the last video, if you can't find it at Canadian Tire, you don't actually need it. Okay, so. With the back of Bella uh, protected through a series of newspapers and masking tape. Last few little scrapes of some rust off the bumper and then let the painting begin. Now my battery on the camera still hasn't been charged since the weekend. So I suspect this will cut off part way through but you're going to get the general idea. And based on that, uh, I will show you the finished result probably tomorrow after it dries and I get a chance to recharge the battery. But in the meantime, let's get to painting Bella the Bowler Black. Well, her bumper anyway.